Hello and a very warm welcome to Soros Source classes. Today's tutorial will be on economics. We will be working on worker misperception model. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, you can check in our website. Now, worker misperception model, or you can also say work the workers fooling model. Now, why I'm saying this, I'll reveal in a short while. Now, this means that you are going to fool the worker or the worker itself will misinterpret the situation. Okay. This has been, this model has been put forwarded or presented by Friedman. Okay. Now, what is the crux or essence of this model? The essence of this model is that worker will temporarily. That means when he realizes he is making the mistake, he will not continue it. But for temporary, for, for a short time of span, what he will do is he will equate a rise in nominal wage so he will equate rise in nominal wage with rise in real wage okay and when anyone does that he will suffer from money illusion illusion means magic so there is money illusion you are your nominal wage is rising and real term there is no improvement but you are ex you are actually equating it or considering it to be an improvement in real wage and that's why it is worker misperception model okay and because there is money illusion there is unexpected movement in the price level and whenever there will be unexpected movement in the price level, it will be able to influence the labor supply. Okay. Now let us see how this is done. Now, in any market, we require quantity demanded and quantity supplied for equilibrium. So let's get started. Now, quantity of labor supplied will depend on the expected real wage. So it depends on the expected real wage now what is expected real wage it is the nominal wage deflated by the expected price level pe and the quantity of labor demanded depends on this is very easy it depends on the actual real wage okay so in notation in terms of notation it will be w by p now W by PE can also be written as so we have W by P which is nothing but our expected real wage and this can be written as this so you can cancel out P and P and you will be left with again W by PE now why we are writing this you know this is the real wage okay and this particular term and this particular term measures misperception. So it measure, measures the misperception of the price level. Okay. Now let us break this and understand. Now this is the misperception of the price level. So let this be greater than 1. So this implies P is greater than PE. That means your expected is less than your real actual. And if it is less than P will be less than PE. Okay. Now having said that let us substitute a little bit. So we had labor supply is equal to this. It is a function of expected real wage. Where our expected real wage is real wage into the into a ratio that measures 
worker misperception of the price level so if i substitute this here i'll get something like this so what we see is that labor supplied becomes a function of the real wage as well as the ratio that measures the worker misperception of the price level so what we find is that so whenever there is an unexpected rise in price level makes worker think so it will make workers think or feel that their real wages has gone up so this is the mistake they are making and this will uh, will actually be a fall this will be false that this is not true this is not happening they are thinking it is happening so they are in the world of illusion okay so at the real wage what we will see is that at the real wage the labor supply will increase as a result of which let us see let us increase the real supply so at the initial wage you increase the labor supply okay so what we see is that if this is l1 this is l2 and there is actually a reduction in real wage w by p2 so as a result of which we see that real wages fall so the end result is there is increase in labor demand from l1 to l2 okay there is increase so increase in employment increase in output and therefore there will be increase in income now if we want to interpret this result in terms of the short run aggregate supply so if there is a deviation between or say deviation of actual prices from their expected levels will induce the supply of labor isn't it this will in turn alter the output level in the economy so if we want to write this entire thing in one line it means that y will not be equal to y bar if there is p minus p e is not equal to 0 that means if there is deviation of actual prices from expected level then y will never be equal to y bar okay and this is nothing but our equation for the short run aggregate supply curve So I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching